So I know a bunch of people that can literally just sit in class, listen to the lecture, and they'll understand it right away. But me, I'm not like that. And that's okay if you're not either. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. You know, I really wasn't gonna film tonight just because I just took a shower, I did my skincare routine, I'm quite literally in my pajamas. But I really wanted to get this video out for you guys just because I know a lot of us are currently writing our midterms or preparing for term papers, we got a lot of studying to do. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top study tips for nursing school. I am a nursing student, so that's why I'm specifically saying that this is for nursing school, but this video can still apply to you and it can still be relevant to you regardless of what you're studying whether you're in university college high school or you're just taking some extra courses on the side I do really think that there's gonna be a little bit of something for everybody in this video if you have no idea who I am hi I'm currently a second year nursing student at the University of Ottawa and honestly in my first semester ever of university which was last fall fall of 2019 I struggled and I think the main reason why I struggled was because I just didn't know how to study in my opinion opinion university is way different than high school you are a lot more on your own a lot of things change you definitely become more independent and then you actually have to be more self-sufficient and I just had a hard time finding ways of studying that would work for me but after struggling I finally found out the ways that work for me and I thought I would share them with you guys today so that you don't need to go through what I went through to figure out <laughs> how to study. I have all the notes on my phone just because I don't want to forget anything. Let's begin with study tip number one and that is to be organized. Now you might think that this doesn't directly have anything to do with studying but actually being organized will impact your success and your grades directly whether you think it or not. I think a lot of people including myself in the past overlook the importance of being organized and organization in general. Obviously in nursing school we have labs, clinical, some people work, we also have to factor in time for studying and maybe for some social life, time for our family and our friends, amongst lots of other things that we've got going on in our lives. So being organized is definitely the key to just being a good student and getting good grades, in my opinion, in my opinion. What I do is I use a planner and then I use a big whiteboard. So the whiteboard is kind of for me just at a glance when I need to see what I have for the month, for the week, for the day at a glance. And I put it in an area that I am pretty frequently. So for example, for me, I put it like in my desk area. That's where I study, that's where I do my makeup. That's where I'm spending a lot of time editing YouTube videos. So it's always there. I always know the important tasks that I need to do or the assignments that I need to complete. And then for my planner, that's kind of where I create to-do list for the day, for the week, for the month, so on and so forth. And I also like to add in post-it notes as well in my planner just to highlight a couple important tasks or whatever it may be. And your planner does not need to be anything fancy. I literally just get my planners from the dollar store and it gets the job done, but you can literally use a piece of paper, a notebook, whatever works for you. Just being organized in general, it's gonna save you so much stress and so much unnecessary hassle. Number two, this is, I guess, a little bit easier said than done, but find out what kind of a learner you are. There are so many Many quizzes all over the internet that you can take and it'll give you roughly an idea of what kind of learner you are. So I know a bunch of people that can literally just sit in class, listen to the lecture, and they'll understand it right away. But me, I'm not like that. And that's okay if you're not either. I find that I am a tactile learner. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So I like to do things hands-on. I like to draw out diagrams and label them over and over and over and over again. I like to make all sorts of little like concept maps. I just really like to be hands-on with my learning. That's just how I learn best. So definitely finding out what type of learner you are will definitely help you and will allow you to efficiently study. My third study tip of today's video is to use flashcards. Now I always undervalued flashcards. I don't know what it is, but when I got to university, that's when I really started to use them. I mean, for content heavy classes like your anatomy and physiology, you're probably thinking, how many flashcards am I gonna have to make? That's a lot of writing, like my wrists are gonna break. And to that I say, maybe consider using an online flashcard service. So I used Quizlet and I literally had like 300 terms for exams, I had like 200 terms per lecture even sometimes, like it was a lot, but it saved me a lot of time. Plus it was super easy to study on the go. I'm a commuter student, so on the bus, I could easily go on my phone and just review the flashcards 
cards. So definitely, definitely, definitely use flashcards. So number four is to use concept maps. I have a whole video on my channel. You guys can click up here if you want to go watch it. But I basically show you guys how I create my concept maps in nursing school. Concept maps or mind maps, whatever you want to call them, they are great ways to essentially consolidate all the information that you already know and then kind of keep them as little study diagrams or study sheets that you can quickly review. I really, really, really loved in using those for pathophysiology. I definitely enjoyed it. I find that making the concept maps themselves is kind of therapeutic. They're also super fun to study because you can make them colorful, you can add doodles on them, designs, diagrams, whatever you want. So concept maps have definitely been a lifesaver for me. My fifth tip is to do your readings or look over the lecture content before heading into the lecture. I didn't do this until my second semester of nursing school, but it tremendously impacted my overall understanding of the content being presented to me in class. So it doesn't mean go and memorize everything or learn the textbook by yourself because, you know, for a lot of people, that's not realistic. We already have too much going on. We can't sit there and learn the lecture ourselves. It's just not always the most convenient thing. But if you have a set of slides, maybe 10, 15 minutes before class starts, just look over the content. Maybe the night before, skim through the book, whatever it may be. And then if you have assigned readings, make sure you're doing them before you attend the class. Don't wait until the class is done. I personally have a class right now, which is Intro to Nursing Science, and I love doing my readings before because then when I go to class and I see the slides, it already all makes sense. I just have a really good understanding of it. And that's just the way I like to do things. And I would definitely recommend it. If you don't have time to do all the textbook readings, okay, that's fine. Just skim through it. Or if they have key concepts at the end of the chapter, read those. My next tip, I guess sort of piggybacking off the last one is to split up your studying and split up your readings, okay? So there have been so many studies that have shown that distributive practice is the most efficient. So study a little bit after each class and then study a little bit every day. That way, when it comes time to reviewing for the midterm or the final, that's all it is. It's just reviewing. You're not relearning the content one more time. It's the best way ever distributive practice has honestly saved my life like saved my life and then the same thing for your readings distribute them if you have four chapters to read before a Wednesday class do it over a couple of days if you have four chapters do a chapter a day if you have more time to do readings and stuff like that maybe you do have a chapter whatever it is just distribute your studying and your readings that way you won't feel overwhelmed and you won't burn out my very last tip is study groups study groups can be very very beneficial but it definitely depends why you're studying what class it's for and how you are yourself as an individual learner how well you know the content for me sometimes i find bigger study groups can be really helpful just in general when you've already kind of mastered the content or maybe if you're just sort of getting introduced to the content but when the material gets a little bit more difficult when it's harder to understand then i do prefer studying with a person or two and that's basically it just so it can be more one-on-one -on -one and we can both help each other also if you don't understand a concept the great thing about study groups or studying with somebody is that they can explain it to you in their own words different than the way the professor taught so sometimes the way the professor teaches a concept can just be it can just be a little bit difficult to grasp what they're saying versus when someone else like a peer has understood it and kind of explains it in their own words not only does it help them understand the content better but it also helps you understand it in different words from like a different viewpoint if that makes sense i'm totally rambling but definitely studying with people is so so efficient and yeah and honestly it doesn't even need to be somebody in your program like i know right now with everything a lot of first years are struggling to make friends and meet people in their class and that's okay if you know any friends from high school that might be in other universities you know you guys can study together if you want to do it on FaceTime or if you have a family member you can give your notes to them and have them quiz you yeah those are basically all my study tips I hope you guys were able to take something out of this video. I don't really do too many sit down videos, but I thought I would just get this video out there. I'm trying to bring a little bit more variety to the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Let's get to 2000 subscribers and I'll see you guys in the next one.